By joining the military, you sacrifice a lot, a lot more than being separated from your family. For an example, if you're a guy, as soon as you go to basic training, one of your first sacrifices is getting your hair cut off, my boy. You're gonna be bald headed. And so in my four years of being in the military so far, there's a lot more sacrifices that I've kind of discovered that aren't really talked about. And by the end of this video, I'm gonna talk about nearly every sacrifice you will make in the military. If I forget any, let me know in the comments below. To make it easier for everyone, mainly myself, I'm gonna break it down into three categories of the sacrifices that you have to make. Physical, mental, and life slash career sacrifices you guys have to make by joining the military. I would say the sacrifices that you guys are gonna make first are the physical ones. Once you guys get to basic training, you guys are going to see a lot of people get injured. You guys are gonna see a lot of people get stress fractures, road ankles, blisters on the feet, and just overall, while being in the military, you guys are gonna sacrifice your body a lot. Because especially if you guys choose a combat MOS or a job that's physically demanding, your body is going to break down. And so if you're a mechanic working day in and day out, carrying heavy stuff, doing a lot of heavy, physically intensive stuff on your body, while also rucking every Thursday or doing heavy combat PT if you're in an infantry unit, your body is definitely going to be hurt at the end of your career so i cannot stress this enough that you guys go get checked out if you guys get hurt and make sure you guys get paid for all the sacrificing that you guys will be doing getting injured in the military is not an if but it is a win you get injured the next physical sacrifice you guys will make is sleep deprivation when you guys are in the military you guys are going to be doing jobs or tasks staff duty cq where your sleep come second because you guys have to stay awake just because you're on shift or you know you have to just stay awake because you're working a night shift your sleep schedule is going to be all types of messed up and so you guys might have bags under your eyes or you guys just might have a messed up sleep schedule but your sleep is going to be taking a toll leading into the physical appearance aspect of joining the military you guys cannot look like how you guys looked like in a civilian world if that makes sense the military has strict guidelines of standards and appearances that you guys must abide by or you will get in trouble that means if you're a guy you have to be clean shaven unless you have a shaving profile for everybody who's asking in the comments i have a shaving profile so i have a medical excuse to have a beard if you actually take the time to read the regulations there's a lot of stuff that you might not think exists but it does the next physical sacrifice that you guys will make is that the military will take you to extreme climates or extreme places because if you're from a hot climate or like you're from an island puerto rico guam hawaii and you get shipped up to fort drum your body is going to have a tough time acclimating to this very very cold temperature and so on and so forth because your boy even though he's from illinois new york upstate new york is definitely a different breed when it comes to winter time and the coldness and if you don't prepare your body properly for the temperature that you're serving in you're gonna get injured lastly the one that i kind of don't like the most is the mandatory vaccines you guys all know what i'm talking about i'm not gonna say the c word because i don't even know how youtube is nowadays but i'm not even gonna risk it you feel me but you guys will be taking mandatory injections whatever uncle sam tells you to put inside your body boy you gonna do it and so there's a lot of controversy about it but hey you sign that contract nobody forced you to do it and so know that now if you don't already even though they made people take a certain vaccine and then they stop shortly after being in the military isn't just a physical sacrifice though there is a lot of mental battles that you have to face the first one that i will say is that the isolation and the loneliness that you feel especially if you're coming from a different country or far far away from home and you're just at your duty station you're new you don't know anybody america might be a different culture for you it might be a tough time for you to assimilate and therefore you're gonna feel a little isolated and lonely and i just want you guys to know everybody goes through this reach out talk to people open yourself up go out and do new things and it's only temporary but you guys will encounter this at some point in time in your careers not only that if you guys choose certain jobs like military police or infantry you guys might be exposed to mental trauma you guys especially if you're like maybe even a medic or a military police especially you guys are going to see some pretty messed up stuff and it's definitely going to be stuck with you for like the rest of your life so definitely think about that before you guys choose your job and just have that conversation with yourself you know if i'm a military policeman what are the police in the civilian world probably see probably going to see a lot of messed up 
type stuff between just domestic violence and if you're like an 18 year old or 19 year old you're not even a freaking adult i don't even consider yet and you're going to be responding to these calls and stuff like that just think about the toll it's going to take on your body especially your mental health which may cause fear and anxiety because the military you guys are going to be put in high stressed environments and you guys got to be able to handle that stuff and everybody goes through it you're going to get over it you're going to get through it just keep pushing through but the military is not a normal place you guys are going to get used to the new normal and i can only tell you but once you really join the military it's all going to make sense you're also not really going to have privacy sometimes in the military starting from basic and ait when you're living with other people to the barracks when you get to your first duty station if you're a single soldier privacy is like a big mental factor because you know you don't always want to be around people sometimes you just want your own space you just want to be in your own little bubble but sometimes you're going to be deployed or you're going to be at fort polk or some training exercise and you don't have that privacy and it's just definitely going to take a toll on your mental health because it's just like damn i want to get away but you really can't and you just gotta suck it up and just get through the suck and just being in the military overall just takes a toll on your mental health from like the environment the high tempo and if your unit isn't the best your mental health is definitely going to take a hit but definitely seek help if you need help i recommend going to mflac which is a great program if you guys don't want to go to behavioral health because mflac doesn't report it to your chain of command and it's just like any therapy session with any therapist but it's between you and them and so if you guys, you know, just need someone to talk to, definitely reach out and definitely even reach out on my Discord server. Life sacrifices. So in the military, like I said before, it affects all aspects of your life. The main sacrifice is just being away from home and being away from your family. But for some people, that's a good thing. You know, for me, it was low-key a good thing, too, because you want to get out of certain environments because, you know, it's just like you want to outgrow that or you're definitely already outgrew it. It's just good to be out of that situation and whatnot. But there are some life sacrifices that I definitely wish I knew before joining the military to maybe better prepare or just to even know before joining the military. The first one is trying to go to college while joining the military or while being in the military. So you all know about the GI Bill, but you can also use tuition assistance while you're in, right? But how the military kind of messes that up or kind of have to sacrifice it is because if you choose a job that has a high op tempo like infantry and you're always going to the field you can't necessarily use that tuition assistance because you know you're always going to be out in the field you're not going to have time to you know work on college and so even though it's advertised that you can use tuition assistance four thousands or whatever dollars a year you're not really going to use it because you have a job and the army will always come first and so it's either going to be hard or harder to go to college or you're just not going to be able to do it at all if you join the military and you have a girlfriend or you're married or something like that it's definitely going to take a toll between the time away from them and it just comes down to you guys either having a strong foundation clear communication clear good communication or you guys are going to struggle and probably break up if you're joining the military single and you're trying to find the one in the military boy oh boy you guys are gonna see it for yourselves it's just like being in the military single and trying to find a good solid relationship is definitely hard it's not impossible you guys are gonna see your battle buddy struggle and you know do some crazy things do not marry strippers do not marry people you just met talk to a priest or your parents or a trusted individual if you're thinking about getting married get a prenup but intimate relationships in the military definitely struggle because you know you're just always gonna be away and it's just like dang man the military is also very inconsistent in terms of work schedules what you're doing is what the world is doing and so pretty much if something happens in the world it directly affects you you and yada 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 so like your leadership is going to try to create a consistent work schedule and whatnot but sometimes you're going to be at the office till like 17 or 18 or maybe even 23 i've the latest i've stayed was definitely past 2300 you're also not going to be told things until the last minute which is very annoying but it just comes down to what the military is like because most likely they just got told things and you kind of just always got to be on your toes and that also goes towards the free health care in the military, too. Although it's free and it's there, trying to get an appointment for those said services can definitely be a pain. And you guys definitely might have to wait a long time. But it's there. And being in the military, you guys might deploy. Going into another country, you guys might be exposed to danger, different situations. You guys might be exposed to hazardous materials, burn pits, or something like that. Your health might be affected by that. It's just something to think about. And for those of you that are thinking about doing a career in the military, it really does affect your long-term 
long-term stability because you guys are going to be always moving from base to base you guys really can't make roots anywhere because after like two to three years you guys are going to be moving to a different duty station and that different duty station has different housing so if you have a family you might be able to live all post because the housing market in that said area is nice and affordable but if it's not nice and affordable you guys are going to be stuck living on post and the on post housing might be you know sketchy and whatnot so it's just a bunch of things that you know affect your long-term stability your children are going to be going to like different schools every two to three years that's going to be annoying for them so everybody's lives gets affected especially your spouses too because you know they can't really find like a long-term job or something like that and so it's just something you guys have to think about something that i will always say in these types of videos though is that when you join the military there is a chance you guys either go overseas on a combat deployment or even while you're in the states or you're doing a rotation in europe or something you might pay the ultimate sacrifice which is why you should know about the tapper legacy app the tapper legacy app allows you to record videos for your loved one when that unfortunate day happens whether you're sharing your values with your kids or telling them stories because you guys got to think about it if you guys do have kids or when you have kids because a lot of people don't think about you know the future they're all thinking about now but most of you guys one day will have a family and if you're in the military, there's that chance that you might have to pay the ultimate sacrifice. And if your kids are still, you know, at the young ages of infants and toddlers, they're probably not going to remember who you were. So use the Tapper Legacy app to kind of create this identity that you want your kids to have of you. You can also tell your loved one your phone passwords, your bank account information, or whatever essential items you want them to know. The videos can be sent to anyone and you can also add a trustee to the account to help manage it. Get 20% off using my code in the description below and when you do, another Tapper Legacy app will be given to a military member or someone else in need. So after all these sacrifices, do you still wanna join the military? Do you have any more sacrifices that I didn't mention? If you're not on my Discord server, join it below and follow me on Instagram and watch my other videos.